All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our episode four review of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The whole world is watching. What are they watching? What Captain America beat the shit uh, out of a flag smasher. Spoilers. You know, for these guys being called the flag smashers, have we ever seen them smash a flag? No. I've never seen them smash one flag. So they, I, I think we, they need a new name. They should be called the hand masks. Or the try to stab people. Yeah, knives. Knives Out, Ryan Johnson, coming to Netflix. So I think, obviously, the first thing we're going to talk about is, one, I was right, but the whole entire world was right. Everybody expected this. John Walker is insane. In the membrane? And killed a flag smasher. But what's funny is about 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes earlier in the episode, you know, they get the super soldier serum out of that weird tombstone thing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, when I was a kid, I loved Captain America. I I looked up to him and all this shit. Uh, And the episode, Captain America kills him. I didn't, I didn't, you know what? I didn't realize I was the same dude. I had you right. Yeah. His yeah. idol killed him. It'd well, be like me if I was like, I love Ben Affleck. He's the bomb in Phantoms, yo. But Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms. Word, bitch. Phantoms like a motherfucker. And then he starts hitting me over the head with a shield and in my chest. No, it'd be more like if you said you love Ben Affleck and then they redid Phantoms and Casey, oh, Casey and Affleck Matt, Casey did. Affleck killed me. That'd be yeah. more disappointing, actually. I like Casey. Can you, but wouldn't, wouldn't you rather be killed by Ben Affleck than Casey Affleck? It's if a, you were going to be killed by an Affleck? Yeah, maybe, but I don't know. I like Casey a lot. Uh, but yeah, that was that was pretty nuts, huh? Yeah, the, I mean, it was, I don't want to say it was obvious this episode, but like. He, but you could tell he was teetering on the line of crazy and non-crazy. Yeah, so once once that guy died, I was like, oh my God, that guy's yeah. dead. Wait, and that guy kind of, which I thought it was weird. So he took the super soldier serum, mm-hmm. he, you know, after he knocked Zima out, which looked pretty fucking gnarly. He got hit yeah. in the head with that shield. Yeah. He took the little thing, put it in his pouch. Which I kind of liked. We actually got to see someone use their pouches in a superhero movie. You don't see that quite often, you know? Right. It was at like 800. Well, you finally... Where does Captain America keep his notebook? Probably like in Avengers HQ while he's no, out, while but he's but out on missions. No, he pulled it out and then... Yeah, but that's like a... Po- does he have that like while he's um, dressed up as Captain America? I don't remember. I could have been making that up. Um, I don't even know where... I... Oh, so he got the super soldier serum mm-hmm. and... Um, this is Zemo's fault, right? Kind of, yeah, he missed one. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Fucking Zemo. Here he goes again. Uh, but he got uh, one. He could act- be my favorite character in this. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I, have yeah. you? Did you watch the hour-long thing they put on YouTube, <laughs> YouTube of him dancing? No. Um, but so he, him and Battlestar are like at the mall or someplace and chilling. They're being a couple mall rats, and uh, he's asking him about like, hey, if you had the opportunity to take Super Soldier Serum, would you do it? And he's like, yeah, without a doubt. Hell's yeah. He, he could have split it, I guess. No, because then they'd only be like half a super serum. Uh, and then they're just super ser- soldiers. Yeah, how much serum does it take? Do you think Captain America is rolling over in his grave or fucking annoyed at his house or something that these little bitches can drink super soldier serum? But he had to get strapped in and all. I can take it. I can take it. Yeah. And they open it up and Peggy Carter like rubs his nips and all that's cool. But these guys can just sip some of the juice. I, I wondered about that. I'm like, does it hurt? I was thinking, does it hurt? And then in the next scene, he's just like, well, because it doesn't give them muscles. It just makes them s- oh, stronger. That's true. So it's it's weird. That's true. He would have turned into Hulk or something. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Uh, well, that reminds me of Hulk. A little side tangent here. We know how there's a lot of speculation on who the power broker is. Yeah. Some people think it's uh, Ross, Agent, not Agent Ross. General Ross. General Ross. Yeah. Uh, but I guess he's not general anymore because he got blipped. Uh, I guess they say that in Endgame. I must have missed that. I don't know. Oh, really? Um, but they're saying, because, you know, uh, in Hulk, which I completely forgot about this since he shows up in Civil War and it's been 800 years since Hulk, even though we just he's watched, not a very we nice just watched it with Hess. But he's trying to recreate the Super Soldier Serum that whole time. Now would be the perfect time to bring him in, have him be the power broker, especially if he got demoted during Endgame. Oh. Uh. So... He uh, he he's a, he's a big contender up there. I feel like could be the power broker. I personally like the idea of it being Peggy Carter. It doesn't not seem Peggy like... Carter, Sharon Carter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Peggy comes back from the grave and becomes the power broker. Oh, she's taking on with Captain America. Oh, she got the super soldier Wait, serum. Um, didn't you get the impression this episode that she's not the power broker? Well, I got the impression that she maybe is. She was in that weird empty bar by herself, zooming in on a satellite that she just happens to have. Oh man! I got the I got the impression. I thought they were gonna reveal that at the end. Yeah, but when she called and she she was like she, oh uh, yeah, maybe maybe it was a misdirection. But I just I got the feeling that she but wasn't. I feel like the way they're teasing it because he keep being the that power broker called and he he wants his super soldiers are in back or he's gonna kill you, all that shit. Mm-hmm. It's either gotta be a character we know, or a really big actor. You know, it's he's uh, gonna be revealed of some sort. Like maybe it's Brad Pitt, and he's been invisible this whole time. It's like Brian Deadpool. Cranston. Oh, that'd be awesome. 
It is blue. That'd be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then you went from meth to super soldier serum? Yeah. Because you know you'd make it better than everybody else anyways. Yeah, probably. Um, were you upset when Battlestar died? No. I had a feeling he was going to die, though. Like, it was just like... I was a little worried that what they were going to do is because they seem pals, is that... Uh, he's. I liked him, too. Yeah, John Walker, I thought he was maybe going to get a super soldier serum, and because it makes you enhanced of what you are, he was going to get him killed. Like, he was going to do something to kill him by accident, and then that would put him over the edge, but instead, him just dying did that. I mean, it's hard because, I mean, Captain America shouldn't do that, but, like, yeah. if Vin Diesel does that, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you got revenge. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is true. Like, if... Like if, if, if Paul Walker died in the movies by, like, The Rock. And yeah. Vin Diesel hit The Rock over and over again with the shield. People would be like, yeah, get him. Uh, but not- to be fair, in the in the normal people's eyes in Fast and Furious, uh, the Vin Diesel is a criminal. Captain America isn't supposed well, to be. Well, he was a criminal. Captain America, remember? I guess, yeah. Um, and, it, I mean, it's, it's very, it's neat how he kills the guy Captain America does how the same way that he didn't kill Iron Man. Like, he could have done that. Oh, Iron that's Man. true. I didn't even think about that. Like, Civil War when he's smashing yeah. them. That's a good That's a good point. You know, I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about the, the Bucky flashback. So, it was six years ago. I thought we were going to so see it's more. A, so, it's after uh, Civil War. That's when he goes in there, right? Yeah, so yeah. after Civil War, yeah. but before the end credit scene in Black Panther when he walks out there as right. White, White Wolf. Right. Um, because originally when I saw that, I thought, oh, this is right before Endgame, and I was like, oh, no, it's a little bit before that, but that was kind of cool, him and Io, and we kind of learned that, she, like, that's why they have that little, you can kind of tell they have a bond. Yeah, for cause sure. she helped him get rid of the little, the spells that Zemo can put on him. Yeah, I liked how, um, when they were fighting later on in the episode to get Zemo, um, he, like, didn't even step in that to, was the, to the period. Looking good, John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was awesome. So he does that, and then he fucking catches her spear. Yeah, well, and, and that's one of the things that pushed him over the edge too. Because he, if he can't, he can't fight them himself. He knows he can't beat. Yeah, them. Yeah, he was a little sad boy at the end. She wasn't even a. I mean, it'd shot. be like, hey, drum, here's a shield. Go fight crime. I'd well, be fucked. I could do it. I could fight crime. Could I'm gonna be the next Captain America. I'll be the first Captain America here. Unless it was jaywalking, you're fucked. <sighs> you have no faith in me. You like walk up to an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the light, lady. Just start harassing old people. Yeah. Um. So I, I have, I, I, I am kind of more leaning towards now, actually, because you know before I thought no one's gonna be Cap. Yeah. I kind of do feel more and more that Falcon might be Cap because you know he talked to Carly Morgenthau this whole episode. That was kind of a Cap move. Put the yeah. shield down, go talk to somebody, and all that shit. Um, Not listen to everybody else. Yeah, and yeah. he did that, and then Bucky has his back, like no matter what. It seemed yeah. very, and then he, he even kind of held his own too against the. I can't the, the Wakanda people. I don't know their names. Yeah. Um. But uh, with, with Io and all them, but he kind of held his own against them when Captain America and Battlestar couldn't. Oh, for sure. Um. So I am kind of leaning towards either he's gonna be the next Cap, or whatever the next Cap thing is gonna be. It's gonna be him, and Bucky. You know. Don't like you? maybe because there's they've mentioned like two or three times now we gotta destroy that shield. So I think that might happen, and they start something new. Mm-hmm. Like maybe they call themselves like caps. Well, they at least have to wash it. Yeah, it's got a lot of blood on it. Yeah. Um. What do you think is gonna happen with him now that he killed everybody on video? Um. I don't know if he'll get a demotion or anything. I I I I I think a stern talking to probably. Uh, but I feel like it's just gonna lead to more and more death. They haven't showed like anyone above him, right? Yeah, like who's in charge yeah, of making like him who's cap? Telling him what which, to do. Which that could lead into maybe that's the cameo next week. Maybe. I mean, maybe maybe do you think him killing this person and everybody videotaping it? Um, which I I saw on TikTok, uh, people pointed out that this is that was very reminiscent to in Black Panther when um I almost say he's gonna kill Coleslaw and Coles- <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of his name. Oh, cl- Claw. Claw. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna call him Coleslaw. <laughs> This guy sucks. He just gets in a fucking bucket and he sits there. <laughs> what kind of superhero is Coleslaw? Uh, but he does it like out of fountain and like out in public, almost kills him, and then everybody's videotaping in Black Panther, and then he stops. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a little uh, similar to that scene as well, uh, which I, I didn't catch. I didn't remember that scene at all. Uh, what about what about Zemo, our favorite character? I mean, he's great. I almost wish he didn't have to go back to prison. It's a little weird. Is he giving candy to kids? To that was strange. It made more sense to giving her some money. He's almost like a. 
like a serial killer, like a like a, because he's like he just turns on the charm and like people go yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, I, I wish but he, then I, I felt bad for him too. I, like, don't forget, like he's like, this is what my son used to eat, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot his kid died. That's the whole reason he's doing all this shit. Yeah, like everyone has a reason to do their shit mm-hmm. though. But it'll be really interesting too, which you could get some cool flashbacks if we went back to. Um, it, it'd be interesting when if they if they ever do go back and do a flashback of Isaiah Bradley, you could potentially have that Captain America or whatever you're gonna have him be, meet with the old Zemo because in the comics there's like multiple like his grandfather wore the oh, hood right. and all stuff, which could be why he was mentioning Nazis and all that, uh, which I really like. He mentions Nazis and stuff, and then Avengers and then Falcon's like that's those are my friends, and Bucky's like. The Avengers, not the Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah but you really could, funny. like, it could be potentially that's why it's been ant- going on. His family has been talking about this. And if his grandfather did meet Isaiah Bradley and Cap, maybe that's why he has the more, again, super soldier stuff too, you know? I liked it when they talked about Cap and they were like, oh, he yeah, did make him bad. And he's like, oh, all right, it was one it, guy. Didn't make yeah, him. that came up a couple times this episode. People were like, he's super soldier stuff. Uh, well, I guess Steve was pretty good though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they keep forgetting. Like Steve got he was instantly good. He only became better. Bucky took a little while. He's, well, but, he's still a little messed up, but he, he's good. He's, he always had an ounce of good in him. It's just he had some. I mean, Hydra they, shit in his head. Yeah, they they fucked him up. That's mm-hmm. not the reason he's not good. Because he would have been. I, I, if he, if he would have took it like the same time Cap took it, I think he'd be just as good as Cap. Yeah, I liked when uh, when Zemo escaped, <laughs> and I think it was Falcon goes. I can't believe he pulled an El Chapo. Because <laughs> he went under the toilet and escaped. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Um. So, lastly, do you have any theories, or do you have any like, uh, who, who do you know who? Do you think you know who the cameo is going to be next week? I know some people think it might be Black Panther because they did film this before Chadwick Boseman passed away. I is it weird that I don't want it to be Black Panther? Uh, I don't think at this point it would make sense. I don't see why he would cameo. Uh, a lot of people think it could be Old Man Steve. Oh, but that'd be interesting. I don't. Or I don't give like a stern talking to to maybe. And he's like, "Hey, you can't be doing that." Back Cap- in my day, Captain America, we didn't have people with the shield. I almost did a Tony, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who. I I, I feel like it's got to be like, and I don't know if it's connected because they they said there's gonna be a cameo and you might cry. I don't know if those are connected or when he when he kills the guy at the end. My first thought was. What if Thor comes down and just beats this guy's ass? Yeah, I was actually thinking that. They're like, that. That's the one thing that's a little annoying with some of these movies sometimes. Yeah, like they have these big problems and oh, okay. like, imagine if you just, hey Bruce, can you come over here for a second, please? Yeah, grab this flag smasher that we've never seen smash a flag. Yeah, I and mean, give us. Hey, some, would you bring some flags too? Can you hold Zemo for us? So he just hold him so he doesn't go anywhere. Um. But no, that's what I mean. So Thor's like, no, Captain America was my brother. You're disrespecting him. Yeah, I, I, I can only imagine what Thor would say about this with John Walker. They, yeah. Look at me, I'm Captain America. And I got smashed over there like a little fly. Uh, um, but yeah, I, I honestly have no clue who the camera's going to be. I don't want it to be Chadwick Boseman because I don't want it that might be, be sad. Yeah, that's, that's the that only reason. Sad. But I also, I think at this point, if it was Chadwick Boseman... I'll be ha- I'll be that, happy that, that, and sad, but at the that same might time. just that might potentially get in the way of however they're going to get rid of him in Black Panther two because since they have to rewrite the whole movie. Oh, that's true. So if he was in it, they might they'd probably just cut that out because they they have to rework a lot of shit. I mean, they were probably three movies down the line of plans with him, you know, not because they didn't right. know either. Right. So I I feel like it can't be him because it might ruin unless it's like such a little thing where he just helps him out in a fight and he's like going back to Wakanda. Wakanda, see you later. Maybe Red Skull. <laughs> he just shows but that. still from like he's like i love vormir <laughs> you know i'm helping you out now uh but yeah i, I, I don't know if, it, if anybody thinks they have a good theory it has to be good don't you be like i think tony stark's gonna show up because yeah i like iron man yeah you know, give me a good reason but i want c- to be c- you know who i want to show up happy but, gilmore that would be interesting he just he just hits golf balls at people he'd be like happy he, he's like he's like hawkeye he never misses but only he hits he only hits golf balls yeah uh, so any, any last things about Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Uh, it's fucking great. It's really good. It's disappointing that there's only a few episodes left. There's like two left. Dose. But then we got Loki, which looks fucking dope. Yeah, that's a, that's one thing. Uh, they wouldn't put Loki in this show. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense with his storyline either. No. So like, don't you're fixing the timeline? Because that would, is, that would say this timeline's broken then. Right. The fight scenes were awesome. Yeah, they were really good. I, I, I like these two that were written by uh, John McBoy. 
Yeah. He, he does a good job, that John Wick boy. He knows how to write action, I guess. Sure seems like it. They should let him write a couple movies. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fine. Uh, all right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, like, subscribe, check out our other videos. We do a podcast every week about Marvel movies. If you want to check those out, it's called Idiot's Guide to the Marvel Universe. Or if you thought we said anything stupid here, we say even dumber stuff there. Because we got a whole other guy with us. So, go check that it's out if you want. Better than half a guy, I think. That'd be kind of interesting. Which half would you... If we were going to have half a guy on our show, which half would you want? Well, the top half. I was thinking bottom half. You just lay him on the table. Jesus. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>